What's a negative charge? Ions. Yeah. Anions, right? And we talked about which anions. Bicarbonate is one. Chloride is another. Phosphate is yet another. Okay. And what's the role of it? What's the role? Okay. Good. Keep going. There you go. The difference between anions and cations is they will balance each other out um, in, in terms of the overall scheme of things. And like I told you yesterday, they're closely related to each other. They're cousins to each other in terms of what they do. Um, we talked something about diffusion and osmosis. What's the difference? One's water and one's solute. One's water and one's solute. So which is which? Diffusion Which direction does the diffusion go in? And what about osmosis? Okay. And osmosis is more about what? Water, right? Okay. Um, if we were to if we were to take an estimate in terms of how much we take in, we're just put out every day, how much that be? Somewhere around twenty five hundred mils or cc's, right? So we talked something about um, activated transport, and we talked something about facilitated diffusion. What's that about? Okay. Which one is which? Okay. And what does it do? What's the purpose of it? Perfect. Why would it do that? What 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 has to happen because of that? You're you're right. You're right on with that, but. There you go. So the idea in terms of maintaining homeostasis is part of that, right? Okay. And so that energy that we talked about is what? ATP, right? And I told you that ATP is kind of like the motherboard, if you will, in terms of what has to happen um, to move oxygen, to move um, to move glucose, to move a number of other things. Any questions back to that? Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, You're going to kill me. I'm sorry. I thought I heard someone say, or you say, that osmosis was low to high. Osmosis is lower to higher solvents. Got it. Lower but to higher solvents. Check. Solid. Yep. Solid. Yep. All right.
questions on any of that? I'm not Canadian. I'm not Canadian. I don't think so. Stuff that is my fault. Okay. Okay. Can you see that okay? Uh, it's getting better. A couple different disclaimers is this. Number one, the way this lecture is set up is you would think it's totally separate from the rest of the body. It is, but the way in terms of teaching it to you, the way in terms of breaking it down, is specific to only about acid base. But acid base is part of what? Homeostasis, number one. But the other thing about it is, is electrolytes involved in terms of acid base? Is everything we've been talking about up to this point part of acid base? And yet, the way that we'll teach it is just acid-based per se, okay? So look at the bigger picture in terms of what's out there, and yeah, we'll talk about specifics to this. So here, here's my other disclaimer. Uh, do we have, I'm afraid to ask, I'm afraid to ask, but do we have any biochem majors in the room? Okay? So for, for this, for this, it's a struggle. It, it's always a struggle in terms of talking about this topic. Why? What? Say again? Because you hate it. Because you hate it, okay? Because we're not biochemists. And out of that, what? Is this something that you enjoy looking at or anything else like that? Okay. So why in the world would we we'll be spending this morning three hours worth of talking about something that requires a blood gas to make a definitive judgment? Well, it must be important. It must be important. For what reason? Intubation. What about intubation? Oh God. Uh, 10 times CO2, so you don't get yelled at by the doc, if you're bagging them too slow. So okay. somebody is in EKA. Okay. Uh, so it kind of ties down. So, so listen to me clearly. Everything that we do, everything that you do from here on out in your career is in some way tied back to this right here. You may not believe that, and you may be frustrated to end these three hours in terms of uh, in terms of thinking about something, that what am I going to do with this in the field? But I'm here to tell you that once you can get your head around this, once you can, can kind of wrap your head in terms of what's going on with this, then you're going to start taking care of your patients differently. And you're going to excel in terms of taking care of your patients differently. Okay? It took me the longest time to get here in terms of this, in terms of being comfortable with this, that I had to dummy it down to my uh, pea brain to be able to talk to you about this. Okay? My effort today in the three hours is going to be exactly that, to get to a point to where at least there's a starting edge to you knowing it. So here's the other thing. If you haven't found this flavor in the time you've been here, this will not be the only time that you're hearing about this. This will be our main lecture in terms of it, but trust me, for the next five months, you're going to hear about acid-base balance one way or the other. Okay? So the idea that you're going, to have to, you're going to have to dive into it, you're going to have to spend some time with it, based on what we're talking about today, and go forward from there. Fair enough. Uh, the other thing is that there is a Vimeo, um, a Vimeo session that Dr. Edminster did on it um, about uh, sometime in the past six months or so. It's worth taking a look at, but not today. Do not rush out and take a look at this book in Firefighters. Do not uh, rush out and take a look at this right now. Because um, his portion was tied into basically cardiac arrest and what to do based on it. So we need to get this basis out of the way before we, before we kind of go forward with, with what you put out there, okay? But either we'll take a look at it in class or I'll suggest that you take a look at it on your own time. So one way or the other, we'll okay? All right, so with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with um, the basics. And it's the basics that hurt your head, okay? So what I will do purposely is that because I know how this is for you, we will take very, very frequent breaks. I will get you on your feet every 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that, and let you circulate around a little bit, and then we'll come back and do it all over again, okay? 
Um, we're going to talk about body regulation of acid-base balance. In terms of the homeostasis side, how does this work as far as maintaining that? We're going to talk about normal values. And so we're going to talk about pH, we're going to take, talk about HCO3, we're going to talk about PCO2 that you know a little bit about. And then finally, we're going to end up with walking through different scenarios along the way that hopefully will tie in some of the things we're talking about. Do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Do not wait three hours into, and, and, and into this and say, you know what, I don't understand this. Can we go back to the start? That won't work, okay? Get your hands up. If you don't understand, I will slow down. I will go back. I will do whatever we need to do in terms of getting you taken care of. Fair enough? All right, so that's my, that's my um, disclaimer for the last five minutes. We're going to talk, um, we're going to talk about all, all these things throughout. So let's start out with what, what Jason already said, and that is a hydrogen ion is a molecule that has lost its lone electron and now is a proton. Remember that when, it, when we, put a, we put some sort of electrolyte into water, it's going to go either positive, negative, or neutral. So the idea in terms of that, it, has, it hasn't changed. It's a substance that gives up protons during chemical reactions that are acids. Okay. 